The first game was about the importance of family uh, and uh, deciding how important that was to you. Disney Epic Mickey 2 The Power of Two uh, continues that theme, but now that Oswald and Mickey know they're a family, uh, and this one is much more about uh, the possibility of redemption. I mean, you try not to talk about the themes too much uh, because you want players to sort of discover them for themselves, but, but I think this is about uh, is everybody redeemable uh, or not. You know, I've been making games for a very long time now and uh, playing them for longer, obviously, and I just don't feel like anybody's really made a co-op storytelling game that, that really sort of hits all the marks that I want to hit. Uh, I've spent my entire career kind of trying to recreate the experience of playing Dungeons and Dragons just to increase the geek level to the maximum right now. And I want to feel that when I'm playing a video game. You know, I don't want to play sports and pretend they're, they're, they're uh, co-op games. I don't want to play um, you know, the game where I do two to four points of damage with a thing that looks like a fireball and you do two to four points of damage with a thing that looks like an arrow. I mean, that's, I want to do a game where I have my skill set, you have your skill set, and we're deciding together how to tell a story together. So Disney Epic Mickey 2 The Power of Two is, is kind of the next logical step towards accomplishing that bigger goal for me. And who knows what's going to come next, but someday I hope we're sitting here talking about the game that really does make everybody feel like they're telling stories together. We decided to make Disney Epic Mickey 2 The Power of Two a musical because, frankly, I, I love musicals and I run the studio. Uh, uh, you know, everybody on the team embraced it, which was really gratifying. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've been wanting to make a musical game all my life and um, no one was foolish enough to let me do it until now. And of course it's Disney. I mean, when you think about the classic Disney films, you think about the amazing music, you know, Alan Menken, Elton John, I mean, uh, you know, Tim Rice, I mean, they're, they're amazing. Uh, composers and, and uh, lyricists who've worked with Disney over the years. Um, we've got uh, James Dooley, uh, Emmy Award winning uh, composer who did the soundtrack for, for both the first game and the second game. You know, and we asked him, can, can you write songs? And he went, you bet! And so now we've got Jim Dooley writing songs for us. Uh, Mike Himmelstein, who's a wonderful lyricist, uh, has written some amazing lyrics for us. Uh, and. Um, Throughout the game, you know, much of the plot is going to be advanced uh, through through song. It's pretty pretty amazing. Any game that claims to be about choice and consequence, where your play style matters, uh, has to have persistence. Uh, if your choices really don't make a difference, if they undo themselves when you leave a map uh, or leave a, a, a scene, and, and it, it just doesn't make any sense. But we had, we had to do that in the first game. We had to undo your changes when you left. Not for any technical reason, there was no, it was again, it was a design decision. Um, we were introducing kids and adult non-gamers, Mickey Mouse, Disney fans, to the idea that games aren't just about solving puzzles, that what they do actually matters. And so we wanted to give them what, what I called even then, choice and consequence light. But now that we've introduced them to that, and they get it, we can actually make those choices matter. So in Disney Epic Mickey 2, uh, all the, uh, the Deus Ex fans and the people who've, who've come to appreciate that in, in some of my work and, and, and other, other people's work, they're gonna experience the, uh, their play style really mattering. If you make a choice in this game, it's gonna stay forever uh, until you return and undo it. So be careful. Disney Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two is coming to Wii 360 and PS3 Fall of 2012.